All right, Campbell Hall, we are here at Campbell Hall's new Living Waters Station at St. Innocent's Parish. Here is the church and school where we are staying. And there's our group packing up the cars as we speak. So I'm here right now with our friends Per Wilkie, Jolie, Jonas, he's the director of the, of the system, and Wilgens is the plumber inside. Here we're gonna do a short tour of the system and our friends here are gonna demonstrate how it works. So, if I step back here, you can see this is the whole system. And you see those two blue tanks on top. Those are reservoirs. The first one holds untreated water. That's the one uh, to the right and farther back. The second one holds treated water. And you'll see how that comes down in a minute. So Jolie, when we were making the video, it's about 7 a.m., Jolie came here just to buy some water. And you'll see how that works in just a minute. So now let's go inside and see how the system works. Hold on, let's try to see you play. I see news at home, Wilkins. Wilkins is the plumber here. Okay. Um, up on the roof, news at home, we have a, um, a solar panel system. And here we have an inverter. This is the only part of the system that isn't working yet. Right now we're just running current off the grid. So we're going to talk through the system and then we're going to um, show you how it works. So there's kind of all the parts and the signs they have going. So, Jonas, vous pouvez uh, expliquer les choses ici? Okay. Jonas is going to explain how this works. Here we have the solar system. Il y a des batteries. Here's the batteries. Uh, the batteries. Uh, the inverter. Outback. It's the name of the company that runs the system. Outback. Outback power systems. Okay. Okay, so the, the untreated water comes in from the roof right there. And it continues to the first filter. This is called the trash filter. It's the biggest uh, holes in the filter just to take out any big particles in the water. Okay, up there. Uh, here's a counter so we can see how much water has come into our system. You have to know that so you know when it's time to replace the parts of the system. Go pass by ici. It passes by here. Here's the pump. So the water goes through here. Manomètre. Here we have a meter to measure the pressure of the water. Ah, the second filter. This is, this is uh, 50 microns. There's the replacement they have ready to go when it's needed. The third filter. Now each, each filter gets smaller and smaller holes. So this is 0.5 microns. And they have the replacement pump ready to go already. Or the replacement filter ready to go. Water passes here. Uh, here we have a uh, UV filter. Ultraviolet light prevents bacteria and viruses from reproducing, so it basically renders them harmless. Uh, okay, that's a power system for the UV filter. Water passes here. Ah, uh, right, we have a meter here because we have to know the water pressure. Yeah, because it's good. Yeah. How much water passes per minute is a measure of flow because we need to know how much ozone to add, which is coming up next. Ozone is O3, it's basically three oxygen molecules together. When you add it to water, it kills bacteria and viruses. Ozone? For the dégagement. You have to add gas to the water. Okay. This is where the gas and the water have a chance to exchange. So here we have a translucent pipe. Once we turn the pump on, you'll be able to see that the water comes out and you can actually see the flow. And then it goes up and down through these pipes just to give it some time to settle. It takes more time. We just pass here up top. Okay, I'll show you what the signs mean in just a minute there in Korea. And, okay, he's talking to you where it goes, it goes, it goes around. And he's here. Okay, what's cool here is we have three options for treated water. 
We can send it upstairs to the reservoir. We can send it downstairs here where the kids can drink it. Or we can even send it out to these two pipes, which will fill it up. So Jolie is going to show us how this works. Jolie, s'il vous plaît, venez ici. Jolie is just one of the kids in the neighborhood. She's come to buy water for her family. Et elle va, she's going to show us how it works. So right now, Jonas is cleaning the, the inside of the bottle because before you put clean water in the tank, you have to clean it out. He'll do that a couple times. He's also cleaning the top of the lid. So it's very important that you have clean point. Just be clean. Okay, now he's adding so uh, bleach. Sorry. So bleach includes chlorine, which basically kills everything. Two rinses, then chlorine rinse. Um, also, as, as he's doing this, I'll just tell you I was looking at the. Um, manual here, they decided that they didn't need a chlorine removal system because there's just no chlorine here in Haiti, and they also didn't need a sand filter up top. Okay, maintenant on va expliquer. Okay, uh, she's gonna show us how this works. So, I'll go out here. So, if you're coming up to this, sorry, if you're coming up to the station from outside, here's what you see. Okay, so she's gonna fill fill this bottle with treated water which she can then buy and bring home to her family. Maintenant, right now, uh, Jonas is going to turn on the system. On pouvait uh, enlever le pompe, s'il vous plaît. Et c'est bon parce que maintenant, uh, it's good because right now the system isn't even running, but we have treated water in the reservoir. So the water that you're seeing has already been treated. But now, okay. Now, it turns on the pump. You can hear it running. And after just a little bit, you'll be able to see it flowing through the system. Ah, okay, now you can see that's water running through the ozone treatment system. Basically, once you do all the filtration, you have to do a chemical treatment, and that's what the ozone can do. And the other thing is, in an emergency, if other people need water and we don't have, um, if people don't have safe bottles, the system includes, pardon Julie, next to you. The system includes, um, oh, this door is locked. I'll show you. It includes a bunch of emergency tanks. Jonas, the tank jaune, s'il vous plaît. Is it that? Uh huh. Okay, so you can use that, you can use those tanks in an emergency so that everybody in town still has good water. And finally, um, the kids at school, they get their water in those big blue Culligan things and then they kind of go into uh, like basically water coolers. So when they're playing outside or when they're in class, there's basically a water cooler and you're using those blue tanks and the water cooler serves warm water to the kids. Okay, now Boogans wants to show us they can also come out here to wash their hands or to drink water. This is treated water coming out. This is for the kids. And we were playing soccer here just a few days ago and we saw the kids come up just like a drinking fountain. It was very cool. Uh, okay, I think up here is a good way to see the, the reservoir. As you can see, this one on our right is for the treated water. One on the left is for the untreated water. You can't see the solar panels, but they're out there. So, uh, ici c'est le système, here we have the system. Uh, Jonas is the director of the system, Wilkins is the plumber that installed it, and Père Wilkie is the priest of the parish, he's sitting over here. And uh, it's a pretty cool community project, so thank you Campbell Hall.